Hey guys, it's Brandon with Sonic Electronics. Today I'm going to show you how to check for a blown fuse with using a digital multimeter. The setting that we're going to use today is actually our continuity setting. It usually has a little speaker. It may be below another setting on the meter itself, but usually it'll have that little dot. It looks like a little speaker emitting a sound wave. Now what that means is basically when I take these two test leads, I get a beep. So let me know that I got continuity between these two test leads. So if I have a blown fuse and I want to check for blown fuse, say this is not getting power, I have my fuse holder or the fuse box on the vehicle. And basically on every ATC fuse or mini ATC fuse, you'll have little test leads. What we're going to do is take one lead from the multimeter to the end of the fuse and the negative lead from the multimeter. And that will tell me that I have a good connection through this fuse going to the car stereo. Now, if it was blown, one easy way to check, I have a blown fuse here, completely popped it. We'll replace it with the blown fuse. Now we'll try to check continuity on the fuse, make sure it's not blown. See here, we take the same, same test lead as before. Doesn't matter which terminal on the fuse. And you'll hear no beep. That's basically telling me that we have a bad connection between this fuse or it's completely popped. As you can see, a little brown mark in there, it shows me that the fuse is popped. So with the meter, that'll make your job and running around the car 10 times trying to figure out what's going on. Why is my stereo turning on? You may just have a blown fuse. Easy, simple way to check. And honestly, guys, if you're doing it yourself or your car stereo, you're beginning to install car stereos, have one of these. It's going to save your life. Trust me. Other than that, you guys have a great day. And this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics.